What is going on, guys? Mobile Care News here. Um, so this is not really <clears throat> new news. This is actually just um, some update that they posted here on the on basically on like the tech news. They're basically saying Verizon finally joined T-Mobile and AT&T on offering truly unlimited data. Uh, we all know about this already. I'm just going to give you a brief update on what the difference is. So yes, Verizon is like it is. Of course, they were late, but they're finally with um, AT&T and T-Mobile competing for truly new unlimited data plans. The thing is, though, <clears throat> uh, the only truly the only truly limited unlimited data plan is the get more unlimited uh, get more unlimited the, no the five G get more unlimited plan, which I am currently on. I currently have done over fifty, probably I think almost sixty gigabytes of data, and. If I was if I was on the play more or the do more unlimited plan, I would still be deprioritized. <clears throat> um, I don't know why Verizon kept do more and the get more unlimited plans deprioritized when it's not really unlimited. <clears throat> to me, that's kind of strange. I guess that's the, their their strategy on keeping customers. Um, obviously, they made the newest get more five G get more unlimited plan the the most expensive. Do I blame them for that? Not really. I think Verizon is just trying to get people to maybe save a little bit of ten, twenty dollars. If you do, if you don't use that much data, if you don't use a lot of data, um, then I think you should. I think fifty gigabytes is it's not a lot, but it's enough. Like let's if you if you do if you use like thirty gigabytes in a day. No, sorry, not a day. If you use thirty gigabytes in a whole month, <clears throat> fifty gigabytes is plenty enough. Or you use close to forty five gigs. That's enough data for you to handle, to be honest. Now, if you were on ultra wideband, it's truly unlimited, so there's no cap. <clears throat> you can run up like over a hundred gigabytes, but if you're if you're just on uh, if you're just on on regular DS, D, uh, DDS 5G um, for uh, Verizon, then that should be enough for that should be enough unless you want to go on the premium unlimited plan where there's no cap at all. But <clears throat> that's basically on what the plans are, the how they do. Um, hope maybe after this, maybe more people will go back to Verizon <clears throat> because AT and T, T Mobile have been on this unlimited five G lead of truly unlimited data since last year. So will customers come back to Verizon? Um, I'm not sure to be honest. It just depends. It it depends on the cut. It depends on how their coverage has improved, expanded. California's doing pretty well. Um, other the East Coast is honestly catching up to more five G, which is honestly good. It's not a lot of five G, but it's getting there. So it just depends. Um, do people would people want to go back? Maybe. Um, I have recently converted from AT and T, then I went to T Mobile, then I went to Verizon. So I basically did you know a three way loop. I went AT and T, then I went T Mobile, then I went Verizon, and people might go vice versa. People might be on Verizon, might want to go to T Mobile or AT and T. It just depends on people's preferences. But so far, Verizon is on, is on a good pace here. Uh, finally, providing truly limited data on on top of C band coming out. So that's good news to hear. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.